friends, I am Madhura. Welcome to madhuratherecipe.com. Today I am making crispy and crunchy rava kachori. So here's what we need for this recipe. So for making dough or outer coating of this kachori, we need half cup of fine variety of sushi. Uh, then uh, we also need a cup of water, fourth teaspoon of ajwain or caram seeds, a tablespoon of oil and salt to taste. Now for stuffing, uh, we need one large potato. This potato is been boiled, peeled and then mashed. Uh, one uh, onion, finely chopped. Ginger garlic paste, one teaspoon. Then here I have one teaspoon of red chili powder, salt to taste. A teaspoon of coriander powder. Fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder. Half teaspoon of jeera or cumin seeds and some lemon juice. Alright, now let's begin with the stuffing part first. Uh, so here I have preheated a tablespoon of oil into a pan. In goes cumin seeds or jeera. Let them sizzle. Then goes in onion. Give this a mix. And cook this onion for like another 4 to 5 minutes or until onion turns nice and soft. After sauteing onions for like 4 to 5 minutes, you can see that they have turned nice and soft. Now at this point of time, I am adding some green peas in this. Now this is purely optional, you can just skip this out. But I like this my kachol so i am adding little bit of green peas so these are frozen peas so they are already cooked so we don't need to cook it for longer time now uh, if you are adding fresh peas then add them along with onion itself let this cook for two minutes after two minutes of cooking go in dry spices ginger garlic paste coriander powder turmeric powder red chili powder mix that in and again let this cook for two more minutes and after about two minutes of cooking dry masala with the onion next adding boiled potato add some salt and mix that in Once everything is well combined, it looks so good. This flavor is just awesome. Add in lemon juice. I'm going to turn off the heat and finely chopped coriander leaves. Lots of coriander leaves. And again mix. And now our this stuffing or filling for making rava kachori is ready. Now let's just keep this aside. Now our stuffing is ready. Now let's begin and make a dough or outer coating to make this rava kachori. So I'm adding a cup of water into a kadai or pan and bring this to a boil. Now after water comes to a boil, in this add in salt for taste, caram seeds or ajwaya, also goes in oil. Give this a stir and now let's put in our rava. So this is a fine variety of sushi and we don't need to roast this and quickly mix this in. We don't want any lumps to be formed. Now if you notice, in less than a minute, this suji comes together like a dough. Now let's turn this off. And I'm going to transfer this uh, suji dough into another bowl. Now once you transfer this uh, suji dough into another bowl, just give this one more mix. Like, like so. And you have to be really quick and uh, it's better if you do this when it's still warm or a little bit hot. Uh, because as the time goes, uh, this suji tends to dry out and you might 
and you may not get that a uh, smooth consistency to fill this so you have to be really quick and do this when it's still warm or a little bit hot now take small portion of this suji atta or dough like so smoothen it out and just spread this out just the same way we make momos or modak in this add this stuffing about a tablespoon of stuffing now bring all the edges together seal this out and flatten this out give it a shape of kachori perfect keep this aside in a similar way i'm making my rest of the kachoris so i have stuffed all my suji kachoris now let's deep fry them also i have preheated oil over here so i'm going to drop kachoris one by one into hot oil and we are going to fry this until it gets nice deep golden color from both the sides after about 3 to 4 minutes of frying give this a flip and let this cook from other side as well so here i have fried this rava kachori over medium heat for nearly uh, now 8 minutes now it takes little time to get fried and it has got this nice even golden color from all the sides and you can see it has turned nice and crisp let's take this out shake off excess oil and transfer this onto a dish lined up with tissue paper and you can see the crust suji kachori is ready and it looks super good you can see it has got this awesome crunch super let me give this a taste it coats really well with um, any tamarind chutney or spicy green chutney or taste could just as it is If you like this video hit the like button also don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you for watching see you soon bye bye